Hello, I'm Christina Corrin, and you are tuning in to the first unofficial episode of Wildcat TV. Normally, on Mondays, during the Wildcat Hour advisory period, you will watch a full episode of Wildcat TV, as well as announcements for the week. For what you can expect on Wildcat TV this semester, I'm going to turn it over to Laura LaMasters in our newsroom. Thanks, Christina. I'm here in our newsroom for Wildcat TV, and as you can see, our reporters and editors are working hard to get our first episode to you next Monday. This semester, our stories will focus on school and community events, students and staff of Blue Springs High School who are doing outstanding things on and off campus. And of course, we'll have some stories about sports and activities that you are involved in. For one of those upcoming events, we'll go to Elijah Lee, who is joined by one of our coaches. Thanks, Laura. I'm here with Coach Katie Grusin, the women's volleyball coach here at Blue Springs High School. And Coach Grusin, there is an upcoming volleyball slam that will, the team will be competing in. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. We play in the Metro Sports Volleyball Slam. Uh, Metro Sports puts it on. This is a, the fourth year in a row. Um, the tournament itself has gone through a lot of changes. Um, now it is a full day, an entire day of volleyball um, that is broadcast on Metro Sports. There's a, uh, we get a commercial that goes on before it. Uh, we're getting a lot of pub time for it, some good press for these girls. Um, we play the 5 o'clock match, which is not the primetime match, but we are bringing primetime to the Metro Sports Slam. And again, what time will this take? Five o'clock, August 25th at St. James High School. Now let's bring in Holly Tarvin, the outside hitter on the volleyball team. Right on. <laughs> Holly, how do you think you guys will do this year? Um, we're looking really good. We have six seniors, so we have a lot of leadership on our team this year. We all know our positions and we're comfortable with, with each other, so we have like a lot of team chemistry, so that should be good. How do you think the tournament will go? Um, we gained a lot of great players this year, and they also lost a few. So hopefully we'll win it this year as opposed to last year. But it looks like we have a good shot. And the Cats will be ready to dominate as always, right? Of course. Also, I was given these announcements. The, there will be a following cheerleading and mascot trials August 28th, 29th, and 30th from 5 to 7 p.m. in the small gym. All those interested in the trying out will need a current physical the first day of tryouts. See Miss, Mrs. Peterman in room 202 for paperwork or any other questions. And the last sports announcement is if, if you're interested in playing baseball in the spring, there will be a short meeting this Thursday, August 23rd at 220 in the Wildcat Room. Reporting from Blue Springs High School, this is Elijah Lee. Back to you, Estina. Thanks, Elijah. I'm joined now by reporter Kenny Swanson, who has a couple of important announcements for us. Thanks, Christina. The teachers would like to give all the students a warm welcome back to school. It's great to have you guys back. We have some announcements for the juniors and seniors. Juniors, you guys have a class ring meeting August 31st, Wildcat Hour Lunch A. It is important that you report directly to the PAC. Seniors, also on August 31st, you will have your senior panoramic picture during Wildcat Hour Lunch A. Seniors need to report directly to the big gym. You don't want to miss out on this event as it's a big deal to all the seniors to have our class represented. And of course, be prepared not to make funny faces. Youth Corps, which is an organi organization that focuses on community service, will be having a meeting August 23rd, Thursday, at 2.30 in the library. It is a great organization that does a lot of important things throughout the year, such as the blood drive. So if you're inter interested in having fun while helping your school and community, get to that meeting this Thursday. Also, if you get hungry in the morning, stop by ST402, where you'll find an assortment of Lamar's donuts. Regular glazed and sprinkled donuts are only a dollar, and long johns and twists are $1.75. Oh, and Kennedy, we just got this announcement in that Drama Club has an important meeting after school today in the Drama Den, which is located in the Civic Center towards the back of the cafeteria. Right, and along with that, auditions for the fall play will be September 4th and 5th, and you can pick up audition packets in Miss Lohman's room. Now, we go back to Laura in the newsroom for an announcement for marketing students. Laura? Thanks, Estina. If you're taking any marketing class first or second semester, you have a DECA meeting Wednesday, September 5th in the Wildcat Room during Wildcat Hour. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Fowler in Room 313. Back to you, Estina. Now, as we all know, last Wednesday was the first day of school and was likely a mixture of anticipation, excitement, and maybe a few nervous butterflies. Reporter Sarah Van Hill has a story. 
The campus may have seemed peaceful in the morning, but soon the halls were filled with students ready and eager for their first day. Every year, over 1,600 students step on campus for their first day of school. Let's see how they feel about today's experience. For some sophomores, the first day was nerve-wracking and exhausting. Waking up at 6 in the morning, going to, high, going to school and working out. Tired. However, senior Deshaun Terry had a pretty easy first day. Um, well, I have a pretty laid-back schedule, so school's not going to be that hard, so I don't have to be like, upset about coming to school. It's more of a fun schedule. While some seniors might have been laid back on their third first day of school at Blue Springs, there were faculty new to the campus who had their very first first day. One new business teacher, Mr. Moss, had this to say about his first day experience. Uh, first day is going pretty good. Um, you know, students have been great. Uh, none of them have uh, really caused too much of a ruckus, so um, it's been good. Uh, I think I have uh, a lot of good classes, a lot of good students, and um, it should be an important exciting year. So. Mr. Moss also said he was very excited to be teaching uh, at Blue Springs. The distinguished uh, school district that it is, uh, it's uh, very well known for um, its academic accomplishments, as well as its athletic accomplishments, and um, it's also closer to family for me, so uh, it's uh, best of both worlds. So. Okay. It was exciting for students and staff, there were also challenges that come with the first day. One challenge for students was their schedule. This is what counselor Kathy Morgison had to say. Well, our challenge is a challenge for students in that they want schedule changes and we're only taking students with gaps in their schedules the first day and then they have to stand in line before school and after school to make appointments during school and they get frustrated and we are busy. The kids were lining up at 6.30 this morning so we're busy from before school to long after school. Even with those challenges, our principal, Mr. Adams, felt there was a lot of excitement and energy for the first I, day. I think first day of school is uh, just the energy and the excitement and, and seeing students uh, that haven't seen their friends for a while and, and teachers and students. students. Uh, the whole relationship uh, that is such a vital part of life at Blue Springs High School, I think that's one of the things that excites me the most. With all the excitement and energy on campus the first day of school, this will no doubt be a great year. So each and every day, remember Mr. Adams' favorite quote. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. This is Sarah Van Hale reporting for Wildcat TV. Mr. Adams is definitely right. It's a great day to be a Wildcat. Well, that wraps it up for our preview broadcast of Wildcat TV. For up-to-date daily announcements, be sure to check out the TVs around campus. And be sure to tune in next Monday for our first official broadcast. For all of us here at Wildcat TV, thanks for watching. Okay.